Ugh. Just like it's starting to cool off a little bit. Mm. All right, well, I am <clears throat> almost halfway done with this. <clears throat> Muslim family and social life. Well, I don't know a whole lot about that. I have known, I've known quite a few Muslims in my life. I mean, I, I like them, you know, um, and it was interesting. Because honestly, I'm not bothered by the differences of people, you know. That just makes people interesting to me. It shouldn't be a threat. And it is. The family is the foundation of Islamic society. One might say that of society in general. Think about that. I mean, you've got to make everything about Islam there, don't you? <laughs> it applies to you guys too, all right? Damn. You just born it's a real bad on you. Ah. It is rude. Just buzz you. Ah. Mm. The peace and security offered by a stable family unit is greatly valued and seen as essential for the spiritual growth of its members. Okay. I would say, why not just growth in general, you know? Growth to be a decent person. I guess some people can't separate that from religion, but they sure have nothing to do with each other. Doing the right thing is pretty obvious. They don't know any better. There's just some parts missing up there that day. And all the religion in the world won't fix that. God damn, you can sting me or what? All right. I've already been stung a couple times. It doesn't seem to bother me that much anymore. It's weird. Hmm. It is quite common in the Muslim community to find large extended families living together, providing comfort, security, and support to one another. Yeah, you could say that about the, the Mennonites, you know. Uh, you could say that about the Mormons. So all I could say is, yeah, good for you as well, I guess. I mean, you didn't invent anything. <laughs> That's how society works. Otherwise, it don't work. It's simple as that. Mm. Parents are greatly respected in the Islamic tradition. Well, traditionally, all, all parents should be respected. I mean, except in those grim fairy tales, maybe, but those are usually stepmothers anyway. But uh, mothers in particular are greatly honored. Hey, you know, I'm pretty fond of my mom. She's 83 and still pretty awesome. She's here all the time. <clears throat> God says in the Quran, and we have enjoined upon man to be good to his parents. With difficulty upon difficulty did his mother bear him and wean him for two years. <coughs> Show gratitude to me and to your parents, to me is your final goal. That's Sura 31, 14. Oh, God, you read the thing. It's like, it all sounds like that. Maybe I need to learn Arabic after all. <laughs> I want to hear why it rhymes, but only in that language. 
Um, if it rhymed in all languages, that would be a freaking miracle, huh? But it didn't happen. Marrying and establishing a family is very strongly encouraged in general. And among his sons is that he created for you mates among yourselves that you may find peace with them and he put between you love and compassion surely in this are signs for people who reflect surah 30 21 we're doing that all right never mind it doesn't matter uh, A Muslim marriage is both a sacred act and a legal agreement, and a legal agreement, but I might have sort of there, in which either the groom or bride is free to include legitimate conditions. Rights and responsibilities of both wife and husband are equitable and balanced. And the thing is, I've seen marriages that have worked. I've, I've, I've known quite a few people that were from like, you know, their arranged marriages, you know, <laughs> really, I work in a hotel, you know, and meet all kinds of interesting people there. <sighs> but anyway, uh, that's it for um, this side. This. Yeah. We'll start the rest of this in and maybe we'll all be enlightened. Okay. Okay.